City gonna set my soul on fire. Welcome to Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world and home to the running rebels of UNLV. Today, these two teams square off in what should be an exciting Mountain West showdown. As we'll see, the Boise State Broncos taking on the UNLV Rebels. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Rebels will put total leather to crank us up. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Broncos' offense takes the field. And there he is. When you have a guy like this, you don't mind building your attack around the running game, guys. And he's a grown man. There's no doubt about it. This offense runs through him. Everybody gets their emotion, and everything is built on him and around him. And everybody knows this guy's going to touch the football, and still, defenses can't stop him. He can run through tackles and make big things happen. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double-checking to make sure. They go to the ground. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for you. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. A third and long coming up here. To the air, it's Nelson. Fires into traffic, it's picked off. Even with minimal gain on the return, they're working with a short field from the 36. All right, good news, the game just got started. There's still a lot of football left to play. The bad news is, though, you've already now turned it over and handed the defense an interception. Quarterback's going to have to be more dialed in with his decision-making in this game. down for this offense. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Man, a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Got his man quickly. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give him a first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. Just outside the red zone. First and 10 from the 21. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. They finally make the stop at the big run. Is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. First down physicality wins football games being able to run the football and create balance and and right here just choose up another first down gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football and i feel like this guy too is just an explosive play waiting to happen his vision his quickness and he's got a burst if you give this guy oh and he can't hold the pitch and the ball's loose now the defense has got it and they're going the other way just trucks through it and the interception was enough. The return made it even better as he gets it down to the 48-yard line. They'll try the run. Breaks out another sweet move and gets it down to the 40. 
Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Power football with the run. Stop is made at the 36. Let's call it a five-yard gain and a first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. Here's the give off the left side. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So he gets stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. Running back searching for a hole. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. To throw, it's Nelson. Throws for the tight end. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long, they're expecting pass, and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback, now forcing the incompletion setting up fourth. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. It is true as he puts three on the board. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50 plus, and he did it with ease. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. The returner will field it and bring it back. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Bring in the heat. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Oh, it's a reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. It is so easy when you're a defensive player, when you watch a little misdirection of the ball go one way, to turn and to run. That's not my job. My job is to stay home. The defensive did a good job of that. Defense stayed home, made the play. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Complete downfield. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. Looking for space, it's Thomas. 
And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the gun, the ground game. Using that running game to bludgeon forward, he's got four down to the 35. Listen, I know that's not a huge gain, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to power their way ahead. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Third and two, trying to be physical, trying to win the battle up front. Almost there, Palmer, just short, fourth and inches. Yeah, and he was so disappointed he didn't pick up that first. He's looking over to the sidelines right now, asking for the ball again here on fourth. So they'll send out the field goal unit. He boomed it through, a 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Boise State ready to send out that offense. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt, but this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. They'll knock him down after a six-yard gain to the 27. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. Looking for a man. It's Nelson. Throws to the tight end. Got his man downfield. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. Absolutely nothing settled. Deadlocked after one period of play as we have a look at the stats. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keeping those vibes going here in the second quarter. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Finds the big tight end. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. It's really tough on offenses when defenses know what you got to do. You got to pass the football. They're in man coverage. How about the receiver understanding where the first down is? He smells it. He goes and gets it. And the Broncos are moving quickly down the field. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. The give to the back. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. The give to the tailback. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up.
Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. After the run, 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 now to throw. Finds a soft spot in the middle. Touchdown, Boise State. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to add another to their lead. And they knock through the extra point for the 10-3 lead. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards. And they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. Fires to the middle. It's caught. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. You open a drive like that and the entire playbook opens up on first down from the 44. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. On the option. And he's not down, but there's also a flag that's been dropped. Let's check on the call. So the penalty will not be enforced. The defense declines and stands on the result of the play. And the Rebels decide to punt it away. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. And that punt will sail out of bounds. Let's see where the official spotted. First down here for the offense. Going to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Gonna run it. It's Genty. Solid gain to get him out close to the 20. Pick up a five to the 19. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. On the move and looking deep. He's got another 25. A giant chunk of yardage picked up there, and they're down to the 24. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. The Broncos come to the line in the hurry up. Out of the gun, the running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Dropping back, it's Nelson. Finds his big tight end. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. And that's why they got to keep running the football, man, because play action is going to be a big part of this game plan. You've got to get this tight end over the middle of the field vertically and give him an opportunity because you just saw how dangerous he is after the catch. And the Broncos have pushed it inside the 20. They'll try to pop the draw. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and trot his field goal team out there. And his field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Yeah, and you're going to see this offense find different ways to get this running back involved. It's not just going to be on handoffs, and they're certainly going to line him up in different places and even throw him the football. But the screen game's a big part of it, too. They're trying to get him going there. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Dropping back, it's Sluka. Dances away from the heat. Quarterback gets the first down and more. That is frustrating for a defense for a quarterback to beat you with his feet. Man, how tough is this guy to defend? He drops back, everything tells you pass, and then he scrambles and gets the first down. Just so hard to defend. The Rebels will snap it on first and ten. He's going to pass. Throwing right. And it's picked off. Got some room to run. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Broncos. What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. Look, a lot of time left. There's a little bit of distance right now being put on the scoreboard. There is, but it's so awesome when you're a defense and you study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for, and then you jump the route and you make the plays and you just go get in that end zone. It is so beautiful. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. He'll bring it back from inside his five. 
He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. Looking to go up top on first down. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. The gift to the back. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Rebels send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Slips through the line. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They've been outstanding here in this first half. Might as well try for the knockout punch, David. Yeah, confidence has to be at an all-time high. Great first half. I'm going to get more, Palmer. I'm not scared with the lead when I got the football in. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You can see the quarterback's body language. He wants to go. He wants to go tempo. He wants to take shots. They're trying to light this scoreboard up. From the 22 on first and 10. Looking to pass. It's Nelson. He's right on target. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. Well, you know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? It's their own defense. David, I know you love playing on teams with great offenses. This offense has been running up and down the field, and here they are, first and goal, a chance to tack on another one before halftime. He caught it! He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. The back goes in motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Broncos! I think the days of running backs just running downhill are out the window. You better be able to do this. You see the playmaker slip him out of the backfield, throw him the football, he'll handle the rest, get in the end zone for the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Here's the return from inside his tent. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Looking for a gap. It's Thomas. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys. A delightful first two quarters of football there today in Vegas. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas inside Allegiant Stadium.
the Broncos will line up to kick off and start the second half. The returner will field it and try to do some business. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Line gets set, first down. They'll run the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And how about the aggressiveness of this defense? I love this. Don't let him get to the sideline. Kept the ball in the middle of the field. Went after the quarterback right away like some missiles and got him on the ground. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. To the air. It's Sluka. It's complete. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. QBs, when you see zone covers, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. Here's the handoff. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Off the play fake. Sends it downfield. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. Feeling lost one deep down the right side. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chain. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, they're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Wants to bring it back. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. The Bronco offense back out there, ready to give it another spin. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Back to pass. It's Nelson. Quickly complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. You know, as a defensive guy, you... And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. The give on the counter. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. It, what could have been set up in a long yardage situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He leaves it with his back. They stop him at the 42, but they get it across midfield. Pick up 10 and the first down. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Looking for room. It's Genty. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there.
If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, going up top. Gets it out fast. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. And the Broncos come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Well, it just seems like everything is working for the offense on this drive. Another nice game, this time on the ground. Now down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. They'll give it to the back. Breaks the tackle. Keeps those legs churning for three yards. He's down at the nine. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll go to the ground. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Wants to throw. It's Nelson. And they can't make the play on third down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And this field goal team has been busy. This kicker comes out for the third time tonight. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And they'll push that lead out a little further. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Got the quick pass. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him, okay? I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. Off play action. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Defense, we're always trying to get some tips. You know, break on the football, get a tip, get it up in the air. Nice job by the player breaking on the football and forcing the incompletion. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. 
third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Looking deep down the right side. He's got it downfield for a huge game. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. The Rebels are moving quickly down the field. Leaves it with the back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Right back to him on the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. The marker rests at the 39, and that's what they need here on third down. Looking to throw, it's Sluka. Pressure coming. Wide open downfield. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. Quickly complete. And that play just looked to be a mess from the snap, and he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. They'll line up for a second down play. That's the end of the quarter, and Boise State has the lead. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. Second down coming up. Leaves it with the back. Shakes off the defender. Brought down after picking up three down to the 22. Let's see what they've dialed up on third and long from the 22. Hand off from the gun. Dances away from one. How about the patience from this sophomore to hunt that green grass? Well, it's a nice changeup call on offense because obviously in the fourth quarter, you're down by a bunch of points and everybody in the stadium is expecting you to throw it to get back in the game. So you dial up the run play and you get a huge gainer. Hopefully that can give this offense the momentum they need to try to scrape and claw back into this one. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Rebels! Yeah, and listen, that, that is awesome to see the guys continue to fight, continue to keep competing because this game is over. Like, we don't need to fool y'all. We're not trying to get y'all to stick around and, and, and improve ratings. Like, the game's over, but you're continuing to fight. You're powered in for the touchdown and show your kids that we're going to always fight no matter what the score is. Lining up for the PAT. right down the boulevard. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Boise State ready to send out that offense. They'll run the counter. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18.
Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Now they'll run the draw. What a nice job on the ground, working his way ahead for seven yards and leaving them with fourth and short. They're about two yards away. The Broncos will line up to punt it away. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. This offense has a second down play. Scanning the field, it's Sluka. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. The offense came into this game knowing that for them to win, they were going to have to make some big plays throwing the football. That just has not been the case. Here in the fourth quarter, they've been held to less than 200 passing yards, and that's really the story of the game, guys. Looking to throw for it. Setting up the screen. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. And the Rebels will line it up on first and ten. They want to just keep throwing it. He's got his man. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside, probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. And that one falls incomplete, trying to get a chunk play on that one. Well, the defense really stepped up in this game. They knew they had to slow down this passing attack. They knew they had some matchups. They were going to have to win one-on-one. -on -one. They've been able to do that, and as a result, they haven't allowed 200 passing yards in this game. Wonder if they'll throw it again after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 49. Got it in the middle. It's White. Showing off those sweet feet as he gets it to the 45. Well, if you could give a helmet sticker to this defensive coaching staff, they would get one because of the plan they've had for this guy at wide receiver. He is one of the best in the entire country with his speed and his athleticism, but they have had a plan for him. Whether it's man coverage, zone, they've been able to double him, they've been able to change up the looks, and they have not been able to get him involved in the game, and that's why they're going to win this one. He's got his man. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. They just keep throwing him the ball this time on the slant. No doubt. And, and you've seen it with the slant. You've seen other routes. Every route he's running, he's good. He seems to be open. So I'm going to continue to pick at this matchup every chance I get. Now on first down from the 40. Looking to throw. It's Sluka. Looking to the big tight end. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. And back to the air on second down. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. 
At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Third down has been right in the wheelhouse on this drive. They've already converted a couple of times, but they need the full 10 yards now. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. The Rebels headed quickly to the line. On second down, looking to throw. Into the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. You see an incompletion there. I think a big reason why this team is in such a hole right now in the fourth quarter is they have just not been able to find the explosive plays throwing the ball. And you got to wonder at this point, is it too little too late? Now facing a third and long. Quarterback on the keeper. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. How easy was that? I mean, when you got a quarterback that can run design runs like this and, and get you five-plus yards just and make it look that easy, God, it makes it really hard for the defenses to stop. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, UNLV. This guy is so slippery, so elusive, he just vaporizes right in front of the defense. It's crazy. You could play touch football in an elevator and lose to this guy. He's that kind of quick. PAT unit on the field. Bangs it through for an extra point. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. Boise State has it back ready to go to work on offense. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own, so you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms, in all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it, you can't measure it. And the momentum has swung to the other side. You've got to get it back. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. You've got to believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. Smart move to keep it on the ground. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Big third down play here. If they get a stop, you'll see an immediate timeout. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. 
And he intercepts it. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. And instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on fourth downs, you're right. Create some of those explosives. Take those deep shots. Make those big plays. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, defensively, you live by the blitz and you die by the blitz. That time, they dialed it up into the run play and the linebacker able to make a nice tackle. A third and long coming up here. Keep it on the ground. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out. Splits the uprights from 56, and he's got three on the board. Well, it's a good news, bad news scenario. You got the pick, and you would have liked to have paid that off with a touchdown, but because it, the drive stalls out, they're still happy to get the field. That last field goal was a big one. Now it takes a touchdown to beat them. You want to pin them back on the kickoff here. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Back to throw, it's Sluka. Coming after him. Trying to escape and get it himself. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. You know, I feel for this offense, if they're going to get back in the game, I don't know if they're going to be able to do it with chunk plays. They're going to have to be methodical and generate some first downs and march down the field. One more play to pad the stats. Looking to throw on second down. Keeps it and gets the first down. They run him out of bounds after a tremendous pickup on the plane. 